Hey there, Marina Orms here. Today we are going to talk about the sign of Aquarius, the sign that uh, of that zodiac um, that if your birthday is between, uh, you know, January 20th ish to around the same time in February, you're going to have a sun in Aquarius, according to the tropical zodiac. Uh, so it does depend on which system you use, but most Western astrology uses the tropical zodiac. And so Aquarius sun, um, and that is only one part of your chart. So, uh, so I, I would say, you know, we have kind of a bias in um, our way, our Western way of thinking about astrology in that we focus on the sun, but there are, um, there is, you also have a moon sign. You also have all the planets in your chart in a particular sign and in a particular house and in a particular relationship with other parts of your chart. That's why it's so much more complicated than your sun sign. But with knowing that you have a sun in Aquarius, uh, there are certain things that we know um, that are natural to you. And so one of the things that happens when your birthday comes around is that uh, you are, you have that solar return. And so the solar return simply means that the sun has come around the zodiac, which it does every year, um, and back to the place where it was when you were born. And it's so it's returning to that place in the zodiac uh, where it was in the sky at the time you were born. And so that's your solar return. And when you have your solar return, it's like uh, an, it's like your own personal reset point. It's the beginning of a cycle. It's the completion of the past year. And, it, and it's the beginning of the next year. And happens to be that we count our age uh, in terms of years. <laughs> so we count our birthdays, right? Each birthday, we add a year in terms of how old we are. So it's significant culturally that way. But we also have that significance of um, the solar return itself, which is is the beginning and ending of a personal cycle. Um, so just like we have <clears throat> moon cycles that go on every month that begin with the new moon, culminate with the full moon, and, <clears throat> and then return again to the next new moon, <laughs> we have a solar cycle for each of us personally that begins with the um, sun in, where it is when we're born and then returns each year. So what happens when we have that solar return? Um, it's a time of completion. It's a time of reflection. It's a time of planting seeds for the new year. So all those things that we kind of naturally feel called to do around our birthdays, it turns out, you know, is what astrology is inviting us to do as well. Um, so if you are an Aquarius sun, it means that uh, you are continuing to on the unfolding path of developing yourself and yourself as an Aquarius. Some of the um, highest possibilities for Aquarian energy are stepping into um, the higher mind, uh, your ability to think about things at higher levels, uh, to process information and do higher level thinking, higher level problem solving, being uh, an outside the box thinker means that you also may not, you know, quote unquote, fit in to the mold. <laughs> so there's that Aquarian energy of being different, of being outside the box, of being quirky or weird or um, not fitting in. And so, um, so part of the path, part of the journey of being an Aquarius sun is to embrace that, to learn what it means to be yourself and to be yourself more fully, even uh, when it's not, uh, it's not normal, quote unquote. So being yourself, uh, being different uh, and really following your truth, being who you are uh, and being so unapologetically is part of the life journey, the soul lessons that you are learning as an Aquarius sun. Um, and so with each solar return, you come back to that place where you are learning. It's kind of like, here's the next lesson. And so what is the lesson that you've completed about self-discovery, self-awareness, 
figuring out who you are, how to be yourself, how to express yourself in the past year. Um, it's a great time to reflect on what you've learned, who you've become, uh, how you've stepped more fully into authentic self-expression and being the outside the box uh, self that you are. And then also uh, setting the groundwork for the coming year and setting intentions. What is it you want to uh, step more fully into? What are perhaps some of the old ways of being that don't work for you anymore that you're ready to let go of? You know, so it can be a great uh, birthday exercise to, you know, sort of make two columns and write it out. Like, here's what um what i'm done with what i don't want to be or feel or have or do anymore and then here's the other column of what i do want to step into what i do want to be and do and have and embrace and embody and live more fully um so putting your positive words in that column of what it is you're ready to learn more about to step into to discover and then putting in that um that other column of what you're letting go of you know things you've learned things you um that you're that you no longer need uh so whatever it is that uh is ready for being let go um and aquarius of course is learning the soul lessons uh, that aquarius brings which are all described and spelled out in my book astrology heals you can find more about that on um my website here's here's the book <laughs> that's what it looks like astrology heals uh it's at astrologyheals.com and in the book it, it can help you understand the soul lessons of each sign it can also um help you uh uh, understand what where all the rest of the planets are in your chart and what uh, all these different parts of you are and how each part of you is continuing to learn and grow and step into its highest potential. So uh, recommend that book for following along with your planets. And uh, if you are learning the soul lessons of Aquarius, because you're an Aquarius sun, it means you're stepping into those higher possibilities of um, higher level thinking, innovation, uh, being the one who is future oriented, who can see what needs to change, who can see that vision of what's possible for the future, who can um, get outside of the constructs and the constraints of the past to say, you know, here's where we need to go. Here is what this could look like. And to be just fully on board with the future and that Aquarian energy, um, the highest po possibilities, the soul lessons that Aquarius Sun is learning um, have to do with how we embrace that future, how we step into ourselves as visionaries, uh, how we allow ourselves to hold that vision for the future, to believe in uh, the things that we want to see uh, get better. Better, and to rebel against the uh, things from the past that uh, that no longer work um, for us and collectively. Um, so stepping into new possibility, stepping into a vision for the future, stepping into our ability to think um, and process information at higher levels and to be a representative of that higher consciousness. Um, so, so some in that process, some of the things that we're um, overcoming as Aquarius Sun, uh, some of the things that you are um, learning as you go through this journey is um, to overcome a feeling of isolation, of detachment, of um, perhaps disillusionment or um, disconnection. So, uh, so as a, so Aquarius has the energy of detachment. It has the ability to see things objectively, but on the downside, it means that sometimes we can feel, um, disconnected, isolated. Um, there's that, uh, energy of being the exile of, uh, being the rebel, the outcast, 
Um, so sort of overcoming some of those experiences that you may have in your life uh, as you step into the highest possibilities and potentials. Those are the soul lessons of Aquarius. And um, Aquarius, by the way, has uh, the planet Saturn since uh, December of 2020. So, uh, so with each birthday you've had since 2020 and since Saturn has been in Aquarius, um, depending on when your birthday is and what degree your sun is in, in Aquarius, you will have had or are having or are about to have a Saturn transit of your sun. And so your if you're an Aquarius sun, your Saturn transit of your sun happens sometime between December 2020 and uh, this year sometime. So um, when you have that Saturn transit of your sun, it means that your uh, those soul lessons are coming up. So it's really bringing up those things that have to do with what is it you've had from the past that no longer works from you for you. What does it look like to step into your highest potential as an Aquarian thinker, as someone who is unique, who is different, who is a little bit outside of normal, but because of that has those higher ideals and visions and objectivity to see what needs to happen. And so um, loving yourself in those experiences of healing, um, of healing any feelings of uh, being isolated or outcast or alone or um, detached, and then uh, working on your own self-healing process so that you can step into the highest possibilities. And so Saturn, Saturn pushes us. It is a time when you're having a Saturn uh, transit of your sun. It is a time when uh, you feel the things uh, that no longer work and it can be painful, but the purpose of it is that it is pushing you to grow. It is pushing you to step into uh, higher possibilities. It is pushing you to take charge of your life and your own healing process to step into what you are capable of. And so uh, you may need to reach out for support. You may need uh, to take time uh, for yourself to attend to your deeper needs and your healing process, um, but really honoring that uh, for what it is, which is an opportunity to grow, to step into higher possibilities and to learn more about yourself to to stand more fully in your power and uh and your own strength and self-confidence so uh so depending on where your sun is in aquarius that will happen at some point um between december 2020 and sometime this year and other than that uh enjoy this time of Aquarian uh, sun when you get to reset um, and, and set your intentions for a new year, for a new skill level, for a new lesson uh, journey as you uh, honor all the lessons you've learned in your life so far and uh, prepare for uh, what, what there is yet to discover, to learn, and to step into in your wholeness, in your healing, and in your creative self-expression. All right. Uh, thank you for being here. Let me know uh, if you are an Aquarius sun. Let me know if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear your thoughts and comments. Let me know if you have any questions. And uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are enjoying my videos. I've got lots more for you to check out. So uh, explore the Astrology Heals YouTube channel. Thank you so much for being here. And again, you can learn more about me at astrologyheals.com. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.